Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Gavin here from Starfresh Personal Training. This is going to be video number two for um, getting more motivation and uh, food. And it all kind of ties into the, uh, the same thing, all right? So whereas um, you might find a lot of uh, people talk about not eating chocolate and not eating whatever, biscuits and chips. Yes, absolutely, that's a thing. But, and you know that, you know, you know that already. You don't need me to tell you not to eat that sort of stuff. But what I'm going to try and do for you over these next couple of videos is to give you some insight into your motivation and how to, how to do it. So in the last video, we kind of talked about my backstory and you know how where it came from um, and why I, I made that single decision is because I was in a lot of pain. I was in a lot of pain around the fact that I didn't want to be fat anymore um, and I couldn't keep living my life yo-yo dieting from one month to the next, you know, year by year, being a different size and everything else. And then from that, from that pain, born a necessity to change. And so many of us um, don't really well, fully understand that reason to change because at the end of the day, um, you know, we just sit there, oh, I wish I could lose a bit of weight. Um, I wish I could stop eating chocolate. I wish I could do that. None of it has any sort of substance whatsoever. It's just, an, just a wish. It is, um, you know. You know you should exercise. You know you should eat better. You just don't, um, because at that point there's nothing strong enough pulling you towards it. And you know, without that reason, it's nothing. Um, and I use a couple of analogies to try and help to put that into perspective for you. So, when you started learning to drive, um, it was hard. You know, certainly if you use a, a gear, a gear stick, and things like that. In New Zealand is more automatic, but when I learned to drive, it was a manual car. Um, it was hard. It was yo-yo dieting. It was stressful. You know, you got the conflict of your the driver shouting at you because he's doing it wrong. Um, and it's really, really difficult. And if that was, you know, um, and if, if you're thinking of weight loss and getting fit, it's the same thing. But um, the necessity and the, the, the need that you need to drive, um, you persevere with learning because you have to. And the reason being is that if you, as a teenager like me, could like 17, 18 year old can't drive, you can't then go out because no one's going to take you. You can't then uh, be independent. Um, you can't go and pick up a girlfriend or a boyfriend um, to go out to the cinema. Um, and that becomes a real important driver for you. Therefore, you will persevere and you will keep on going and you will learn to drive. So you will get the gear shift, you will get the clutch, you will get the mirrors, you will get the signals, all that sort of thing. Because the reason you want to learn to drive isn't to drive itself, it's to have the freedom and the independence that comes with being able to drive and have a car. So with weight loss, you know you should eat better, you know you should um, exercise more, but you haven't got that real understanding, that real reason or drive um, to, to make you to learn how to do it because it is a learnable it's a learnable skill it isn't something that just happens uh, it's a very learnable skill so first of all we, we're going to kind of um go, go down um go down the track of you need to decide you need to make a decision why it is that you want to lose weight in the first place now i've i've just uh, obviously told you some of the, the stuff about me it was really really painful um it was really difficult and at that point they were for me, there was no other option. It was, it was so painful, I needed, needed to change. That's quite a strong motivator, okay? Um, now, it could be the same for you. I don't know what it is for you, and so you're the only person that can ever tell that. And it, it, this comes from being, being completely honest with yourself. Now, I'm going to throw out some, um, some reasons that people have told me in the past. Um, and one of them, some of them were um, to be able to play with their grandchildren. That, that's that's um, a, a really big motivator. They don't want to be seen as being old. Um, one of them was to be a good example to their children. Now, what's good about that is that the, the conversation we had was around, if I don't lose weight myself, how can I tell my children that what they're eating is bad for them? And it's been about being a role model. That's a really big decision. Um, another one was around about having a really bad health scare, around about having super high blood pressure and having an onset of maybe heart attack or something. Very, very strong motivator. And those people do well because they've gotten something so powerful, such a big reason to change that they make the decision to change. And once you make that decision to change, then obviously you're going to be, be a lot further forward. Now, 
for me, um, it was obviously, and I keep on saying about this, not to be ever be fat again. Now, that was just my thing. I didn't like to be teased. I didn't want to be embarrassed to have my shirt off. Um, and what I kind of learned, so obviously, as, as I said, I, I, I watched loads of, uh, listened to loads of audio books around, you know, um, self-improvement books. Because, you know, I, I'm a massive believer you need to change your mindset before you change anything. Because if you don't, then nothing's going to change. You need to be in the right space to do it. Um, and I came across something called the five Y principle. And the five Y principle, I've uh, explored this a little bit further, and I even did an interview with a mindset coach called L- Lorraine Hamilton, who went into this, um, you know, a little bit more. But essentially, you need to you need to understand why it is that you want to do. So, I go back to use the car analogy, and then I use my my weight loss analogy. So the uh, the car analogy was why do you want to learn to drive, so I can get from A to B. Okay, well, why do you want to get from A to B? Uh, because I want to be able to not have to rely on my parents to get from A to B. But why don't you want to rely on your parents? Because I don't want to have my parents on my back and being seen by all my friends and all my potential partners that my parents dropped me off to X, Y, Z. And when you keep going through all that list and you keep saying why and why and why, keep asking yourself why to that question, you're going to come down with something really um, really tangible. And if you keep going down, as I said, you're like already giving the answer, is that you want to be independent. That is a really strong motivator. So you want to learn to drive to be independent. That is that is the reason you learn to drive. That is what pushes you forward. Fat loss for me, um, I want to lose weight. Well, why? I want to look good on the beach. Okay, well, why is that then? Well, I want to have more confidence. I want I don't I don't want to be embarrassed to take my top off. Well, why is that? Because I'm ashamed of how I look. Okay, why are you ashamed about your look? Because over the over the last 30 years, people have made fun of me from being overweight and having um, flabby chest and stomach and all that sort of thing. And then it comes down to have more confidence. Now, I want to lose weight to have more confidence because I'm not happy with myself, my, my self-image. That is a powerful motivator. And once you understand what that little snippet is for you, you are then able to go into um, and do the things that you need to lose weight. So things like, um, you know, you're going to, there's things that you may not be able to eat anymore. You may not be able to eat takeaways every night of the week. Um, but you've got to understand you're not missing out either. You know, I used to think that if I don't eat that, I'm missing out. You're not. You're not missing out on anything. Um, and you need to sort of look look at that and go, well, it's just food. It's just different. Um, and most people generally eat the same 30 foods over and over and over. If you don't believe me, you write down the last uh, 10 meals you had. It will be very, very similar to each other. So all you need to do is make slight different changes um, to, you know, to, to, to make it better, make it work for you. So, it's all about then making making the right changes and making um, making a reason for doing it because if you haven't got that reason to do it, so we're going to talk about the five whys. Um, well, you know that's going to be your exercise at the end of this is to write that stuff down. But what I want you to to think about as well uh, when it comes to motivation is that it's um, people think they they rely on willpower, and willpower is um, is an infinite. It's a, it's basically as a as a capacity like a muscle. So when you're in the gym and you lift a weight. You've only got a certain amount of reps in you for that particular weight before you give out. And the willpower is exactly the same. And it was actually an experiment done um, years ago by a guy called Roy Bowmeister. Um, and, and he had some groundbreaking research um, on self-control. Um, basically, what he did was there was a um, part, part of the trial with 67 um, participants in a room that smelt of freshly baked chocolate cookies. Um, and then he teased them further by showing them the actual treats alongside the other chocolate flavor, um, or chocolate flavor foods. Um, and while some kind of uh, indulged in the sweeter subject uh, in the uh, experimental condition um, uh, were, being, were being tested, their resolve was being tested, and they were asked to eat radishes instead. Now, radishes are really horrible. I wouldn't want to eat them raw. Um, and a lot of them weren't happy about it. Then what they did was, they uh, split the group essentially, and for the people that weren't allowed to eat the uh, the chocolates, um, were asked to do a um, a really unrelated exercise in the form of a, uh, a really hard puzzle, um, and the effect on that was massive because the people who ate the radishes and had to exercise willpower not to eat the chocolate uh, made far fewer attempts and devoted a lot less than half the time to solving the puzzle compared to the uh, the chocolate eating uh, participants. Um, in the control group um, and what they found was is that willpower was very much like a muscle and it was very much it runs out 
So therefore, if you try and do the hard stuff at the end, uh, at the end of the day, um, you're going to really struggle. So let's just say, you know, you're a busy parent and a job and everything else, and you come home at night and you try to exercise in the evening, you're not going to be able to do it because your willpower capacity is gone because going to work out and going to, you know, chew those better meals um, and prepare those meals is going to be a lot more difficult at the end of the day because your willpower capacity has run out. So when you look at from that perspective, you need to try and front load your day with these things. So for me, my, one of my things I do is work out in the morning um, because I cannot, I used to try and work out at night and I can't do that. Um, so I'll, I used to, I now get up certain times of the week at 4.20, 4.30 and I go to the gym at 5 o'clock in the morning because I know after I'm in work from 7 till 5, there's no way I'm going to get to the gym at 6 o'clock at night because I'm too tired and then the, 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 the nature of my job um, potentially all my willpower and everything else has been exhausted by the time I get to that night. So you need to sort of look at it from that perspective and go, those hard things around exercise, nutrition, what can you do in the morning um, when, you're, when you're a bit more energized, you've got more capacity um, of willpower, is what can you do? Exercise, big one, get up first in the morning, go to bed half an hour early and get up half an hour, early, uh, half an hour earlier to go and do your gym stuff. That's another little tactic you can use. Okay, because willpower is is finite. You cannot uh, have unlimited um, um, amounts of willpower. But what you can do, you can practice it and you can make it stronger, but it's still going to be limited. Okay? So the other thing is, uh, is all your self-talk as well. Now, you talk self-talk is, um, you know, you think, oh, I can't do that. And as soon as you make that decision to say, I can't do that, you believe yourself that you can't do it. Um, and there's a little, a little analogy, a little phrase saying whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Because whatever you just, whatever, basically whatever you think about, you're right. You know, if you think you can't, then you can't. I can tell you you can, but if you believe that you can't, then you absolutely can't. You need to try and change your self-talk to little things like, um, instead of saying, I can't, uh, I currently struggle with. And when you kind of talk about that, when I say to people, you know, track my fitness pal every day, they go, I can't do that. Well, how about changing the focus and say, I can't do it all, but I, I, I currently struggle to do that. Then what you do is then you've created yourself room for improvement. And you can say, well, I can't or I struggle to track every meal every day. Okay, let's just focus on one meal per day. Let's practice focusing on one meal. Then you track one meal a day. Self-talk. Never ever say to yourself, I can't do something because as soon as you, as soon as you make that declaration yourself, then you've already lost the battle. So... Also, again, you sell talk around, I wish I could. Don't say, I wish I could lose weight. Um, you know, say to yourself, I will try, or, or you know, I will lose weight. I, I'm struggling to lose weight, but I will try, if, I will try to find a way. Um, when you start doing that, you kind of look for solutions to your problems. Um, you know, I can't, I need to. Um, when they become, I must lose weight, I have to lose weight, um, I will lose weight then that self-talk that you have with yourself is really, really powerful as well. And this is, you know, not just sit there for one day and say, oh, I must lose weight. There's nothing. You need to have your why, and then you, that will link into your must. And once you've got those things and you remind yourself about that every single day, which I'll talk to you about, that is when you're going to start to have the motivation. Because even when you don't feel like, when even when your mood is rubbish, um, as long as you can remember why it is that you want to do what you want to do, you will be successful. It, out of all the last seven years, there are days I don't feel like going to the gym. There are days where I don't feel like tracking my fitness pal. There are days when I don't do whatever. But my goal, and I, I'm, it's so clear in my mind that I, I, I must not be fat again. I, I can't be. That, that's just, it's not, it's not even up for negotiation. I will not be fat again. That is what carries me going. And then I will track my fitness pal. Then I will go to the gym. Because just because I don't feel like right now doesn't mean that goal disappears. It just means I don't feel like. Um, and then you just got to get your trainers on. You've got to find solutions to that and just go and do it. That is why I train in the mornings. That is why I potentially um, prepare my meals ahead of time when I'm fresh because I know when I come in or when I'm at work, I've got no food to eat. I'll, go, I'll be straight to the McDonald's. So if I take my food with me, that's what I've got to do. I don't have to think about it. It's there, it's done. And I, I think I don't worry about it. And then it comes down to having some courage. Now, like I said, I, you know, I, I was really, um, you know, kind of beaten up about things and, you know, I didn't have much confidence because of my weight. Um, and it stands up by having the courage to, um, to make that change as well because only you have it. Nobody else can. You, you need to draw a line in the sand at some point and go, this is enough, enough's enough and I need to make a change. 
and I need to make a change because of my why and your why is what you're going to work out in a minute. Um, and then you're going to, you know, make that decision, make it clear, draw a line in the sand. You've got your vision where you want to be, you know, the attributes of the person you want to become, and then you need to start working on it. Um, and once you do that, you will be cool. Now, once you do that, don't just forget about it. You need to sort of remind yourself about it. And it's a good way every morning uh, when you get up or at whatever point in the day that you can have a read over them, remind yourself of them every single day because it's quite easy to forget. And what I used to find was I used to try this stuff as well. I forget about it. And like, oh yeah, okay, forget about it. And you know, we wouldn't go back to it. So you need to remind yourself about it. Um, and you need to seek motivation wherever you can. So like I said, in the last video, I used to seek out people who did uh, incredible transformations about losing weight. And I would watch them. I'd listen to their stories. And, you know, I'd know that if they could do it, I could do it. And you need to have that, um, I guess you know, uh, you need to know um, what that is for yourself. I'm in my little group, in my little Facebook group, I want to create a culture and a community of people that um, are, are changing for the better and who are motivated to do it, to provide everybody with support. That's the whole reason I created this group in the first place. Um, and, um, you know, people are doing incredibly well and there's some people struggling. And that's absolutely fine. But hopefully together with everyone chipping in together, we'll all be fine. So seek out that motivation and, and look for people who have done what you want to achieve. Um, and if it's a bodybuilder competition, look for bodybuilders who've done what you want. If it's just to lose weight long term, like me, look for people like me to help you with that because we will offer some insight into how it's done. Um, and it doesn't take away the fact that it's not magic. You're going to have to work it every single day. You're going to have to come up with things every single day, but this is where I'm here to help you. So now, um, exercise for you. You've got your pen and paper, so you've got your, um, your vision already. Now I want you to write down, why do I want to lose weight? I want you to answer it. I want you to ask that question again. Why is that whatever? Then you're going to keep asking why and why and why and why. You can do that as many times as you possibly can. Um, and once you get that, you're going to come up with a real reason. Um, and again, that little reason is going to really, really help you. And you're going to, you're going to have then your, um, your vision of where you want to be. And now you're going to have a reason why it is that you want to do it. So therefore, you may not have, you may not have just come to you like it did with me sitting in um on a night shift in the dark um you may have to actually work for it but once you do that you will really really understand um that the reason why you're doing it and this is why it might change you might you know you might change for you in a couple of months time or a couple of weeks time but that's fine just remember it and write it down something that you can do so that's the next exercise okay video number two about motivation write down your whys underneath um if, you, if you're willing to share um, like I said, if not, just keep it safe. Text me, P oh, sorry, yeah, PM me, tell me what they are. At least I can keep, I can help you keep be accountable with it. So that's it. Your turn. Give it a go. Um, find out what your why is, and um, let's just get this started.